Mr. Van Drunen here. Welcome to Hawk Talk this week, the third edition of Hawk Talk in the time of coronavirus. Hopefully you are doing well and staying healthy. I'd say hopefully your schoolwork's going well, but we all know that Schoology is... Yeah, we just maybe won't say anything else about that, except be patient and please don't sit around all day looking at the screen. Go outside, enjoy some sunshine, you can come back, hopefully maybe later you'll be able to access your classes. I think maybe Schoology just wasn't ready for the whole country to start distance learning. You know, and there are a lot of things that are going well. Our district is feeding people, providing child care, there's a lot of cool stuff going on, so if you feel disconnected, try to find a way to connect somehow. If you have a need, let us know. I do want to highlight one announcement for you guys here at the high school. I know it's a little beside the point to mention going to Schoology, but we're talking about not just logging into your classes, making sure you got all your work covered, but also your grade level class. There's a little attendance question each day. Um, it's not much. Mr. Elson's been putting some of these together, and you just kind of check in there each morning as you're getting going on some of your schoolwork and answer the question for the day and that should be the grade level class you're in 9 10 11 12. i do want to point out one more thing in that schoology folder for your grade level class so if we look at schoology here here i am on the grade level 9 schoology class you can see that's where you can do that little attendance piece i was talking about um, there's some other things that are kind of uploaded here part of i don't know staying healthy doing well uh, over this time of distance learning, I want to click on this folder here, uh, Weekly Challenges. Uh, you can see next week, not quite published yet, but if I click on Week 1, it just says Document Your Life and Your New Routine. So, if I click there, you can see there's a few people that have uh, turned something in. Pretty cool. And from Mr. Elson here, there's a little example of one way you could do it. We'll actually watch a little of the bit of that example, just for fun. If you want to watch the whole thing, you'll be able to see it right there on your Schoology page once it is accessible to you. Day one of working from home, trying to set a routine, um, get on schedule. It's a little bit before six. Um, I've already been outside, salted the walkway, um, and cleaned up some cat puke twice today. So, about to start my workout. Gonna get going on that, and then should be set for um, the rest of the day. I, I sure am grateful for my health today. Even though I'm not in the best of shape, it feels good to sweat. And I feel like today I'll be, I'll be more productive. So I'm really feeling grateful for that today. Are you sleeping? Okay, so obviously we know who should be taking over for uh, Hawk Talk. What we're going to try to do is take the best stuff that comes on these weekly challenges and share it on Hawk Talk. So if that's something you're interested in, or if you want a little 15 minutes of fame and fortune, there's your opportunity. I want to share a few other things with you today. Here's a video from Ms. Anderson in the counseling office. Hi guys, Mrs. Anderson here, and I just wanted to take a minute to say hi um, and introduce you to my dog Finn. He is an 11-year-old Springer Spaniel, and he is a very loved member of my family. Um, I know it's hard right now, you guys. You're thinking about all the things you're missing out on, but I just want you to try to find time every day to find something positive and find something to be grateful for. I know one thing I'm grateful for with this quarantine is that every day I get to spend more time with this guy. Um, I thought it might be fun if you all take a minute and just snap a picture of you with your pet, whatever you have at home, dog, cat, bird, fish, horses, dog, or cows, goats, whatever you have, snap a picture, 
send it to Mr. Van Drunen at zvandrunen at isp318.org, and he might be able to put a little, um, like, video montage of our pictures together, um, kind of help us all feel connected while we're dealing with this quarantine situation. So just a reminder, you guys, stay positive. Try to find something grateful or something to be grateful for every day. It's going to help us all. All right. See ya. So there you go. If you've got a picture of a pet or a short video you'd like to send along, that would be great. Hawk Talk is also a place where you can share things as a student. Here's a short video from some of the students in the AVID class talking about stress and distance learning. Stress management consists of making changes to your life if you are always in a constant stressful situation. <laughs> Tools to limit stress. Always be organized. Do things that you enjoy to get the stress off your mind. And exercise. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bro. All right. Thanks, guys. And I do have uh, one meme I'd like to post from a sophomore named Riley Opolinski. He thought that his friends would get a big kick out of it. So I'm posting it here. Kind of an inside joke for you Rick and Morty fans out there. And if you're not a Rick and Morty fan, maybe wait till you're 30. Then you'll be ready. And this week we want to end with a message from our school nurse, Ms. Domigal. Hi, everyone. I miss your energy and your beautiful faces. I hope you are settling in with your distance learning. And um, I just want to express to you that we all play a part to keep each other um, healthy. And you care for yourself and you care, by, care for others by first of all, social distancing. Um, washing your hands frequently, covering your coughs and sneezes by, um, cover, you know, coughing into your shirt, sneezing into your elbow or using a tissue, making sure that you're not covering uh, or touching your face, your um, eyes, nose and mouth with unwashed hands. The symptoms of COVID are uh, typically cough, fever, shortness of breath. You can exhibit other symptoms along with those symptoms like nausea, diarrhea, uh, lost, uh, loss of taste or smell, but um, the main symptoms are cough, fever, and shortness of breath. To learn more about uh, COVID-19, you can go actually to our ISD 318 website. And uh, from that website at the top bar, you can click on services. And um, then on the left side menu, you can click on health services and then click on COVID-19. And there you will have information from the CDC and also some answers to some frequently asked questions. Also, please remember that you can always contact me, that I am still your nurse, um, except for now I'm a virtual nurse. So if you have any questions or concerns, please email me at tdomigal at isd318.org. Please take good care of yourselves and be well.